Meg McCain has reached a new memoir. She's released this book about her life, about her life as a conservative woman. It's amazing, right? I mean, you would consider that because everyone else that was once with the Trump administration for about a half a minute helped facilitate his hatred and his craziness. They're writing books, they're making money. So the question is, obviously, well, why not? Well, according to the Washington Examiner, the better question is, well, why? Because he's only sold just under 300 copies. Again, that's according to the Washington Examiner. Let's look to a few of these details here, you guys, okay? Uh, so McCain dropped Bad Republican, a memoir on April 26th. And according to the Washington Examiner, as I mentioned, the book had only sold 244 copies. That's as of Friday. And according to a listing for the 224 page book on Amazon, McCain, quote, expresses how it is to feel like you no longer fit in with your political party. And the listing does also add, she tells of growing up the daughter of an American icon who shaped her life and details the heartbreaking final moments spent by his side, okay? She recalls her misadventures on the New York dating scene and brings us to speed on meeting her now husband. We hear views on cancel culture and internet trolls, as well as life's backstage as the sole Republican at America's most watched daytime talk show and why she also decided to leave. Unsparingly honest, deeply relatable, and highly entertaining, Bad Republican is as personal as the story gets. It's a memoir imbued with an unmistakable maverick spirit, of course, because her dad was Mr. Maverick. Um, so that's uh, the, the blurb about it. That's gonna force you to wanna read it. You're gonna wanna run out and buy it. But apparently 244 people were sold by that. And one of those 244 people had a review. One person on Amazon who claimed to have read the book gave it one star out of five. I was so looking forward to reading this. As I was an independent and as I am an independent and appreciative someone who can see all sides is what this review reads. When I got, uh, what I got was a whiny little girl who complained about life, everything in life that everyone has to deal with. And uh, most do it without feeling sorry for themselves. She is beyond blessed with family support and financial resources. And she still whines about everything. <laughs> Jeez, uh, that is simply life. So sorry, I wasted my time. So maybe it's gonna be back to 243. I'm not sure if you can return books. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first of all, now more of you have read that book than had read it before in its entirety because you just heard JR talk about it. Like to <laughs> say a couple of sentences in the book. Hey, Megan, you're welcome. Okay, now, look, her reaction to have only sold 244 copies was, but I'm John McCain's daughter. <laughs> You know that means that doesn't mean we have to buy your book, right? And to be fair to Megan McCain, that is how she's gotten every single job in media in her life by saying, I'm John McCain's daughter. And for actual human beings, we now have definitive proof that doesn't work. We don't care, right? But here's what the part that's interesting about the story there's a couple of parts, but here's one of them. For TV executives, they do care. They think, oh, you're a governor's brother. Oh, you're a senator's daughter. Oh, you're a president's daughter. Right away. Right away. Who cares if people like you or not? The people in power like you. Do you know that after the Bush presidency, Jenna Bush was hired, I think by NBC, paid like an oh, unbelievable salary. That. Yeah, for like 13 minutes on air, maybe <laughs> over the span of however many years. They barely ever used her. I believe Chelsea Clinton was also hired. I mean, each one of these is outrageous salaries, no demand from the public at all. And so this is a great example of us being right. We told you nobody wants to hear from Jenna Bush or Chelsea Clinton, right? But for them, they're like, oh, that is one of the royalties, prince or princess. Welcome, <laughs> welcome everybody, everybody cares, everybody cares. Well, turns out we were right and you were wrong, no one cares. And so Meghan McCain worked well on The View and, and then Honestly, there's a lot of knuckleheads who cover media. They're like, oh, that's because she's a dynamic personality. 244 <laughs> copies, okay. You have to understand, that's like nothing, nothing. That's like, that's, un that's an unbelievably low number, okay. So no, it's not because she's an amazing personality. You put her on TV on one of the most successful shows on television. Anybody would do well on that. Because the show's already built, it's got infrastructure, people watch TV. It's one of the few shows on TV that isn't just vomitously bad. Like it's every once in a while, they're like, oh, that's a political point, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. I guess we could debate that, right? And they're like, so it has nothing to do with Meghan McCain, the success of the view, nothing to do with it. And and so they just don't. But now my favorite part of this though is look, there's 
A lot of conservatives, they have big book sales. Like Sarah Palin with tens of thousands of book sales. And then like a month later, a news story will come out. Most of those were bought by Sarah Palin Pack. They do these bulk orders and they do this on a regular basis. So like, and now I'm gonna make up a hypothetical here. This is not actual facts. But like Dave Rubin will come up with a book, don't burn this book. And then the Heritage Foundation, a right wing think tank, will buy tens of thousands of don't burn this book book. But they're not, they don't actually use it. They just wanna make it seem like, oh, a guy who was liberal turned conservative. And now he's so popular because the conservative position is so popular. And then they burn the book. <laughs> Nobody actually reads it. Okay. Again, that's hypothetical. But, but it's very real that they, do, that they do mass buying of books to make it appear that it's popular. So when you take away the mass buying, the cheating that right wing does, 244 <laughs> books. And the last thing here uh, is she has no constituency. Like she's like, okay, I am the reasonable Republican, okay? Uh, I'm not in favor of Trump, but I love conservative positions. Everybody's like, you don't like the left wing's like, screw you, okay? And the right wing goes, you don't like Trump, I ain't buying your book. There is no reasonable Republican, that's why it didn't sell to any. <laughs> this might be messed up for me to say, but I swear every time she says my dad, he's like rolling over in his grave. Like, <laughs> um, yeah, like uh, bad Republican. She definitely, all Republicans are bad. So she got the title right at least. Um, but yeah, like it doesn't work anymore, Megan. Like the my dad excuse. It doesn't make you interesting, and I think her next book is gonna be like, Dad, they don't know, they don't think I'm interesting anymore. Why? When? And so I'm definitely excited for that sequel when it comes out, um, and she'll have a hundred, uh, three hundred and one sales for that because I'll definitely buy that just to burn it. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, she's she's definitely pathetic, it's sad. Um, I'm I'm sure that the whole book was a wine fest about how hard my life is now that my, I can't use my dad's name anymore to get me, you know, roles and you know book sales. Um, but yeah, that is basically conservative. It's not based on you know met, uh, talent. It's not based on hard work. It's based off whose name I can use and benefit from. I wonder what the reason is for even doing this. I mean, she's she's established. She's financially fine. You don't need this. If it sold twenty five thousand copies, it doesn't matter. No, no, but no, Jr. So, couple of things. It's but it boils down to one thing: ego. So. I'm sure she believed that she was a star. Because when you're on TV, especially in a highly rated show, people are telling you 24 7, oh my God, Megan, you're such a star. Oh, dude, I mean, oh, your dad was amazing. And what you say on TV about how you knew your dad, amazing, okay? And they believe it. They genuinely believe it. She thought she was gonna sell like probably tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of copies. And then, and then that was. So, but why did she like? What did she write about? Did she write about like, for example, uh, my book, Justice Coming Book dot com? You could pre-order. It's a long pre-order, but anyway. Uh, so there, I talk about the progressive ideology and why it's better than right-wing ideology. She talks about like, oh my God, that my dad said this, and then I feel like I'm entitled to that, and and she, because of the bubble of the elites, thought everyone would love it. And her dad was an interesting figure, right? Yeah. I mean, it's whether you yeah. agree with him or disagree with him, his life as a soldier and, and the torture he went through and the bravery and all that stuff, then his, and his, his political life and how maybe he was this divisive candidate. And then he was the first one to lose to Obama and all this over, it's like there's a lot to that book. Whether you like dude or not, there's something to read about. Maybe she was trying to piggyback off of the dynamic nature of at least the interest level of her father. Like, which as you mentioned, and everyone else had before, was kind of her bread and butter. But you have to find a different angle. I mean, somebody should have advised her. She has to be surrounded by someone. Many of these folks don't even write their own books, right? I will give her props for this. People don't like the way it was written, and they also, um, it wasn't bought up by a bunch of packs. So she did it honestly. She actually wrote it, and she didn't put it through a bunch of other people to buy. <laughs> you know what? That is That's true. the result. And by the way, I like things that are authentic. So I'm, that's no joke that you actually, she actually should get credit for that. Uh, but unfortunately, what a lot of people will take away from JR's really good point is, oh yeah, I gotta get somebody else to write it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think any of her friends bought her book, like honestly. Yeah, oh, but that's so embarrassing. Some. Yeah, I give it 50-50, half yeah. of them did. Yeah, um, so and guys, look, it's not just about busting on Meghan McCain. It's to let you know how the process works. So when you see the big sales in the right wing, 
at least half of that is just cheating. Okay, so without the cheating, the you see what. Yeah, you 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 see what the actual results are. Thanks for watching the Young Turks. Really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, Jr. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.